It's been just over a month since the shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. And what we've learned since then about the police response is it's truly shocking. I know we overuse that term in media, but it, it is shocking. It turns out the police were inside the building three minutes after the shooter entered. My God, it makes your heart hurt just lo- learning that. They spent an hour trying to track down keys to the classroom where the suspect was holed up. Never tried opening the door. They never tried just putting their hand on the doorknob and turning it. And it turns out the door was not even locked. Security camera images released. Oh, they're so telling and they're jarring. They show police officers standing in the hallway with rifles and ballistic shields just feet away from the classroom doing nothing. The children inside had no protection, had none, and yet they still didn't barge in, these guys with the shields and the guns. The issue of mass shootings is something Gavin's team specializes in, in terms of planning for and trying to prevent, and he understands very well the profile of a school shooter, a potential school shooter. You know, Gavin, separate and apart from the police response, which I'm sure you've got thoughts on because I know you're all about fortifying classrooms. Uh, The the school shooters here, now we're learning so much more about the, the number of comments they made about wanting to be a shooter, a mass shooter, the warning signs on social media for both this guy and the guy in Buffalo. I mean, it was just, I know you've said before, people don't just snap. They don't, they don't just snap. And sure enough, in this case and the one in Buffalo, that's that's proving to be true. Yes, I, I, I it's an important part of of my public work, like in Gift of Fear. I talk about the fact that uh, people don't just snap. Uh, and while that's a you know, he he snapped and he went crazy in the workplace or he he was perfectly fine. And then he was, uh, you know, insane and, and shooting people. It's really a process that is as observable as water coming to a boil. And in that process is, uh, you know, are a bunch of witnesses who experience fascination with weapons, who experience statements uh, and allusions to acting out violently, who experience the the real major pre-incident indicators. Pre-incident indicator is an expression we call it PIN. For pre-incident indicators, things that happen before the thing happens that you want to prevent. So a pre-incident indicator for getting a bee sting is is hearing the buzz. And a pre-incident indicator for, uh, you know, somebody uh, shooting at a governor is uh, jumping up on stage with a gun. But that pre-incident indicator is too recent to be useful. And the birth of the assassin is also a pre-incident indicator, but that's too dated to be useful. So we're looking for the things that happen in this sweet spot in the months prior to someone acting out violently. And human beings are predictable. Uh, we predict human behavior all day. We predict the behavior of our, our, our kids and uh, advertisers predict the behavior of consumers and uh, you know lawyers predict the behavior of, of jurors. And anybody who tells you that human behavior is not predictable uh, is not correct. And it is, uh, it's not that predictions are always perfect. That's not the idea, but that people who are displaying pre-incident indicators, uh, can be detected if we are open to seeing them and, of course, open to reporting them. And the number one pre-incident indicator for mass violence, for multiple victim shootings, for example, uh, is misery, uh, misery, alienation. Uh, these are things you see in the kids who act out violently again and again. And it's why, rather than even talk about the the tragedy of the police response and the fact that, you know, kids were being shot while there were protectors uh, uh, who in present who could have made a difference. Putting that aside for a moment, I think the bigger issue to look at, and we slip every time there's a mass shooting and focus on that mass shooting, when the bigger issue is the extraordinary number of multiple victim shootings going on in America this year, 2021, started about halfway mark. And then through 2022, uh, when, you know, when I was first studying these, there were a few, and you too, Megan, there were a few a year, a few Columbines a year in a, in an active year. There are now five multiple victim shootings in America every week. And there are shootings of, of lesser, uh, numbers that are happening every day. And so we have to really ask ourselves about the uh, the misery index in the United States. Uh, you know, the we can look at 
inflation. We can look at alienation. We can look at lack of trust in our institutions. Uh, we can look at division, uh, which is being, uh, you know, nurtured by politicians, uh, division between people. I want to tell you quickly. And social why. media, too. Say it again. Social media, too. Oh, yes. Social media. You know, at the end of that uh, very good documentary that ran on Netflix called uh, The Social Dilemma, at yeah. the very end, one of the uh, former Facebook executives is asked, does he let his own kids use Facebook? He says no. And, and he's asked, what do you think is the natural result of this thing that you're telling us about, about how social media and YouTube and other things lean us, incline us toward the most aggressive uh, postures in everything? Uh, he just answers immediately civil war. He doesn't hesitate for a moment that that's the natural outcome of, of what we're experiencing. But I want to just comment on uh, on all of these things that are leading to alienation. Why do people in power benefit when there is extraordinary uh, hostility between what is identified as two sides? You know, the media puts forth the good and the bad, the abortion and the anti-abortion, the pro this and the anti that, the vaccine and the and the anti-vaxxers and all of these things that are that we are, um, you know, in in dispute over. Why do they win? And the answer is, like many answers you'll get from me, is historic. It has always been this way. The king and the queen look over the castle wall. There's always a wall and there's a reason for the wall. They don't want people coming over. And they look over the castle wall and they see the people in conflict with each other. And that is always good news because it means they are not coming over the castle wall. Mm. And that's where we are today, which is this degree of alienation, uh, this degree of, uh, of hostility, and uh, this degree of division and divisiveness in America actually serves power structures. It actually yeah. serves people in power because you, uh, what you don't, all you don't want in a population is that they all agree. When they all agree, you get Tunisia or you get Egypt or you get the Arab Spring. When it, when, frankly, it doesn't even take all. When 55% agree and are, are willing to be active, you get, uh, you know, you get substantial change real fast. Uh, as you it's said, you know, our politicians now real quick dropped Fauci. He's not doing an interview five times a day anymore. Uh, yeah. Dropped, uh, you know, the the nearly obsessive focus on getting not vaccinated, but vaccinated again and again and again and again. All that stopped because we have elections coming up. If you're like me, you're growing more and more concerned about the future. The market's all over the place. Inflation's at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates are skyrocketing. The news is not good. Market experts not only predict a recession, but they're using terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. If you want to protect your future, call a precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Everyone says that's what you need to do. All it takes to get started is a short phone call. And they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. And they keep it super simple. They're the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. And as an exclusive offer for my listeners and viewers, if you call them right now, they're going to give you $1,500, up to 1500 bucks of free silver and a free safe on qualifying orders. So don't wait. Call them now. Call 866-518-2955. That's 866-518-2955. Or just text my name, Megan, M-E-G-Y-N, to 65532. Again, that's 866-518-2955. Or text M-E-G-Y-N to 65532. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.